Now, the Baptist Convention of Nigeria has linked the country's stagnation and slow development to ongoing leadership failures. They emphasize the need for transformative leadership to address national challenges, a message highlighted at the eight royal ambassadors of Nigeria Baptist Convention National Jamboree in Kaduna State. Dr. Kendi Olaleye's representative, Reverend Dr. Joseph Hayab, called for a radical shift in leadership st strategies, noting that current leaders have eroded youth's trust. He urged young Nigerians to learn from past mistakes and embrace sincerity and patriotism. I accepted to host this jamboree for two most important reasons. One, to test the effort so far in changing and transforming young people that we've been doing. And this jamboree has confirmed that we have made tremendous progress uh, in the transformation of youth change. And I want to encourage Nigeria that the best way we can change our youth is to keep showcasing those good things, those good ones that we have. Many young Nigerians don't even know that there are good people among them. They need to see, they need to talk. Sincerely speaking, our leaders have failed us. They've spoken with one, one language and act differently. So we are calling on this youth that, look, Learn from the mistake you are seeing, but when you come, correct it and don't repeat the same mistake. The reason why Nigeria is not progressing is because we keep repeating the same mistake, the same mistake, the same mistake. We want our youth to be a good example of sincerity, of godliness, of patriotism, of good character. Then this country will change and change for good. Godly men are given the opportunity to serve at every level, assembly, national, state, um, um, local government and so on. These persons will go and show the world what it means to be God-fearing and exemplary. I believe if real ambassadors and other organizations like us, youths from this organization, are given the opportunity to serve at all levels, we we'll have a better nation. When good men, and good and godly men, are called to positions of service, then our nation will be a better and better place. The voice their apprehension regarding the rise and incidents of cybercrime and other forms of social decline within the society, highlighting that they have established rehabilitation centers aimed at assisting the youth in becoming valuable members of their families and contributing positively to the nation. We have seen that beyond the regular things we talk about, cybercrime, which was not an issue maybe 10, 20 years ago, has become so rampant among young people. We have seen young people, you know, moving around, doing all kinds of things that does not only destroy them, but also compromises the future of our country. So the Royal Ambassadors in our own little way and corner is using the, the Anti-Social Vices Club to reach out to our own pairs, those who fall under, you know, our uh, uh, space and also do what we can in terms of, you know, outreach to get them to get out of those things, including those who already found themselves, you know, gain back their self-esteem, gain back, you know, who they are and begin to live both for God and for humanity. One of the things we've been doing for the past 20 years as a real ambassador of Nigeria is to have the antisocial vices. These are the organizations, one of the, the aspects of this real ambassador that is teaching them not to go into drugs, not to go into anything that is not of God. It's something that we've been doing for the past 20 years. I think it's yielding food. The state governor, Senator Uba Sani, commended the initiative and expressed his commitment to supporting youth programs that foster peace and unity within the state. The thing in the sustained agenda is safety and security. And you understand that anything that is going to enhance the unity and the peaceful coexistence of this state is fundamental. And because of that, anything that the youth are doing is takes it as a responsibility to ensure that they encourage them so that we get out of these social vices that we have found ourselves in. If it's going good, it is the youth. If it goes bad, it is the youth. So because of that, whatever program that youth are engaged, it is very important where they are going to be taught uh, godly ways of doing things to shun violence and to impact the culture of tolerance so that we will move our state forward. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.